there's, there's a sin, and even John talks about the sin that leads to death. Uh, Jesus talked about the unpardonable sin of blaspheming the Holy Spirit. That's what he said. And he said, uh, some sins will be forgiven men, but the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit will never be forgiven. I equate that to deliberate unbelief, rejection. Because when he said that, he said that in response to um, the Pharisees who were ascribing his miracles to Satan when Jesus was doing miracles. And the Pharisees said, well, he's doing that by the power of Beelzebub. And I, I really believe, and there's, you can probably read five different guys and get five different opinions on this, but this is what I believe, that the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit is when people that know better still refuse to receive Christ. Because I believe with all my heart, the Pharisees, they weren't dumb. They, they understood who Jesus claimed to be. And they saw what he was doing. And he didn't have anything they could tag on him. They did, he didn't do anything that they could accuse him of. So instead of saying, this guy must be the Messiah, they said, he's, he's from Satan. So when I, I believe when people can continually reject what they know is true, uh, Romans talks about being delivered over to a reprobate mind. And, and you know, only God knows where that line is. When, when, when a person crosses over to like, that's it. They keep rejecting the truth and rejecting the truth. Only God knows that. But I believe, personally, the unpardonable sin is deliberate rejection, continual rejection of, of, who, of who Jesus says he is and what he's done. Yes, a seared, a seared conscience. Some, you know, and again, I, I go back to talking about what they would call sociopaths, people that have no conscience. There are some, some folks, and, and again, the Pharisees, they knew, and if you read the things that they said, they knew who Jesus was claiming to be, yet they still wanted to put him to death. And even when Jesus was on the cross, he still said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. So where that line is, that point of no return, uh, in, in Romans, it talks about that, Romans chapter 1. Where that line is, we don't know. You know, sometimes we think we know somebody. That guy, he's, he's too far gone. <laughs> we never know. But there, there is a point scripturally, where a person, and, and we're not talking about sinners who, you know, just, um, it's like people that know better, people that understand, people that, re religious people, who refuse to submit. I think, of, I think of the scripture in Thessalonians we talked about a few weeks ago, where it says that in the end times, for those that rejected Christ and missed the rapture, who knew and understood, God will send them a strong, delusion that they would believe a lie. So there's a point of no return. We, we have to make sure that we don't allow ourselves to be the ones to try to make that judgment. We don't know, you know. You never know. If Jesus could hang on that cross and look at the ones who put him there and said, Father, forgive him, then, you know. But I believe there is that point. A lot of times people, you know, get themselves psyched up and Satan uses this with a lot of people and so says, you've gone too far. You know. If you're convicted, I, I tell people this. People, uh, people talk to me and say, they're really, you know, they're really like, oh, I think I've gone too far. And they're really like, oh, I don't, don't want to miss God. I would say, listen, if you care about it, you haven't gone too far. If you care about what God thinks, you haven't gone too far because you still have a conscience. You still have conviction. Thank God if you're convicted. Thank God that, you know, because people that, I, I, I believe, and again, I'm, I'm just sharing you my, the way I see this. People that have crossed over that line, they don't care. They don't care. Well, they care what God thinks. They don't believe them. So, I don't know, is that, does that answer? Is that, is that okay? Anybody, any other questions or comments?